let's start with the first prediction. Everglow gonna get a views controversy. I expect that this one can come at any of their comebacks. I've seen other people talking about it, and it's been over a long time I observed it. About how unmatched and unrealistic Everglow's views are, they got 15 million in a day, which is a hard feat for huge groups even feel special couldn't do it, and that was after the new rules. BTS Ego and Shadow couldn't even come closer, and we all know how much big is their fandom. Sure, they're not title tracks, but even so. So before someone says that it just got hype in social media, so did BTS's Black Swan. People were talking about that for weeks, it was trending constantly. Yipu know at what that performance video was at? 30 million after 3 weeks, what about Don Dun's views? 56 million after 4 days, ain't realistic at all. There's evidence of the views fluctuating hours to hours. They'll have sudden jumps, it's not something anyone can deny. We can't deny that Everglow are popular and powerful rookies, but not 50 million in 4 days. Reaching to Blackpink and BTS views level. Imma forever myself but I can see that problem blowing up and becoming a controversy. It might make people start questioning the legitimacy of their sales, wins, and so on, which sadly sucks. Anyways, let's move to the next one. Sony doesn't have bad music and is one of the greatest fourth-gen soloist. When I knew that people actually were saying that Sony isn't a good soloist and has trash music, I went like... <laughs> You can find it unlikable, it's your taste. But for me, her music is enjoyable and definitely suits my type, and I can jam on it. It fits her style really well, and defiantly evolving in an impressive way, this doesn't interfere with the long periods behind her comebacks, the fact that she doesn't have breathtaking vocals and her choreographies are not the hardest within fourth gen artists don't mean she has miserable discography. I found her quit unique on this point. They all do have privilege of being in fourth generation. This one sounds confusing, but it is it. They all debuted at the time when K-pop became extremely popular worldwide. The international fanbase has increased massively and even social media now used by everybody. Everyone can get access or get to know any type of groups easily. Therefore, they've greater chance to succeed in music industry compared to those who debuted long back. But it's okay. It doesn't mean they're any less talented than others. Privilege doesn't mean untalented. Is one could have been nation's girl group. Is one has been successful in term of on base and cells and etc. Their cute and innocent concepts made them shiny among other girl groups with similar concepts and made them one of the most popular fourth gen girl group in South Korea. Their album sales are pretty impressive when they wear still rookies and some members are extremely popular in South Korea, Japan and etc. They could have become the next nation's girl group if they were permanent. Fourth generation vocals are re-underrated underappreciated. I'm sick of seeing people saying everywhere that fourth gen are not vocal material and only dance material. I can't deny that that's true to some extent, but you're clearly missing out so many great fourth generation vocalists. I'll recommend you some for soft and smooth vocals. For powerful and strong vocals. And finally, unique vocals. And the fourth gen only started by two years, it still reserve a lot of vocal gems. You can suggest great fourth generation in comments to complete what I suggested. Cherry Bullet, Rocket Punch and V and it won't be popular. This is a prediction of mine. I don't really see them becoming popular. I do believe that rookie groups are getting heard everywhere only in their rookie years. But after a time, when for Gen Ghana succeed the top group positions, only some of the top groups will be heard about, and many will leave the fandom of the less popular group. I don't know if you get me, but I've tried to explain my perception. Maybe some individual members in the groups over there will be popular, but not the whole group.
and they're definitely not competitors to Itzy or Espa. More English versions should be released and they are great. I don't know what's wrong with you all about the English version releases. They are very enjoyable and well written, considering that it is from Korean to English. It's either you are used to the Korean version so the English version is weird for you, or you find the lyrics cringe. Although many off songs you listen in Korean are in a Korean, perceptive very cringe, but you don't cringe since you don't understand to lyrics, but you do in the English version. But still, I do find the English version very enjoyable and great, and I hope and think more should be released. With the 4 Gen, fandoms will get bigger and more toxic. I don't see K-pop going on a downfall and Edo believe it will be more open worldwide, but this in fact will make it more toxicer. This is related to the 1% theory. To make it simple for those who don't know about this theory, fandoms have 1% toxic fans theory is about the proportion of fans who cause trouble in any given fandom and how larger the fandom, therefore have many more absolute number of these fans. I'll leave a detailed link with the essay if you are interested about it. The toxic fans are the one to behave a lot, and I noticed oh now they're not even ashamed to behave publicly. It will get worse. It will get worse. Stake debut wasn't as astonishing as people are making it to be. Don't drag me for this one. But I don't really understand what do you all see in that dubit track. For a comeback, it would be a good fitting release. But as a debut, it wasn't anything that would leave a breath taken or impressed, even after several, several listenings and watching their music show stages. It is quite an underwhelming debut in comparison with other girl crowd debuts that were somehow unique or slapped you right after the first listenings. Can't deny that the group has visuals. But that was the only reason they caught me attention at the beginning. Don't twist my point though. I'm not saying that they are talentless. That's the end of the video. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions let me know it in the comments below. See ya.